Hi, welcome to In the Trenches from Let's Go Banders, located on the beautiful Big Island of Hawaii, and happy Halloween to you. My name is Chris Anderson, and I'm here today with David Zatera. We're your host for In the Trenches. We're really excited to bring you guys small business owner uh, practical advice on how to supercharge your business. Uh, advice that we've learned both in the trenches, working as small business owners ourselves, and then a variety of different things we're going to bring you from other businesses around the island um, and, and people we've gotten a chance to speak with. We're going to be bringing the show to you several times each week, and we're going to be talking about all topics from accounting to finance to sales and marketing. And the, really the fun part, I guess, is when we get a chance to go out and interview a local successful business owner to try to find out uh, any practical advice they can give us to help us with our business. Uh, first interview we've actually had a chance to conduct, and this was done uh, just recently with Larry Elmore. He is the owner of our Taco Del Mar franchise here on the west side of the Big Island. Uh, it's located on the Queen Kaahumana Highway just north of Kailua Kona, opened up about seven weeks ago, and he's doing fantastic. Let's listen in to Larry. This guy's cranking. I had a chance to talk to him for a few minutes. We're going to cut to the interview in a second. We have to apologize. Our, our camera mics were a little off. The ambient sound is, is high, but listen in because what this guy has to say is incredible. So let's take a look. Hi, today I'm here with um, Larry Elmore with Taco Del Mar. And Larry, how are you doing? Doing very well today, sir. Congratulations on your new uh, store here. Thank you. I wanted to ask you some questions too about marketing. So, talk to you um, about marketing your business. I was a little bit surprised at what you told me as far as what you found worked and um, how do you market your business? Well, we, what's, what traditionally is uh, a real opportunity for the whole Taco Del Mar chain is uh, the success has been greatly in the TV marketing. Uh, seven stores in Oahu um, negotiated an annual TV campaign, and that has been a very strong benefit to our store, Kona, because they tagged Kona in those Oahu store um, advertising campaigns, and they ran. So there was kind of a feeding friends in that uh, Kona was, was coming online. So we, we, uh, we benefited from that. We also have done uh, some radio advertising. We found that to be extremely beneficial. Radio has worked it. Yeah. And then uh, four weeks ago, we put in the uh, coupon in the uh, an insert in the uh, Iron Man tri Iron Man Triathlon edition. Okay. And that was, uh, was a great marketing tool for us as well. So when you say insert, if you care to elaborate, because I've had some success with that too. I mean, we, we run a regular ad in the paper. It's quite expensive. But I don't know how your local newspaper would do it, but we found you can put inserts in, especially if you provide the inserts for like a fraction of the cost of the real exposure, right? That's correct. That's and exactly you, what we did. Yeah, like 12,000 pre-printed coupons. Right. You just call your local newspaper and say, hey, do you have any deal where we could actually bring in 12 or whatever the circulation is? They'll insert them sometimes for maybe, you know, the same price or a little bit more than the comparable ad would be. Right. Yeah, and no comparison on response. The hands on. Yeah. I mean, we, we've probably had a lot. Of, I ran my numbers for last week and we, we gave out uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of $2,000 worth of food yeah. just the free coupons last week. Yeah. So it was, it was great, great advertising. Larry was telling me this is his first endeavor into the food industry. Having a strong background in construction, it was quite a change for him, uh, but that he's very happy with the results. Here you can see one of his employees is making what they call a Mondo Burrito for a happy customer. Whenever we go to Taco Del Mar, we, we have one of these. They're incredible quality, very, very, very good food. They have a wide selection of food and beverage choices. Um, you kind of walk through, and it's, it's, it's not really a fast food style, so to speak. It's a little different. They, they uh, make the food for you, and then you have a chance to sit down um, in their dining area, which you'll see pictures of here in a little bit. Um, Larry's doing so well, as he's going to mention here in a little bit, we, we were talking, he's been so successful, he's one of the, or the top store in the franchise system, uh, and they're opening their second store about 10 or 15 miles further south down the road here in Kona Common, so he, he's excited about that, so they're going to go full force ahead. Um, well, let's get back to the interview, and, and sorry about the mic problems, here's Larry. Um, I know you face all kinds of challenges starting a new business. Um, can you tell us a couple of your biggest challenges that, to get the store open or ongoing? Well, the, the, the greatest thing is... Uh Understanding, we were brand new to the restaurant business, so it's a real yeah. eye opener to us. You know, from construction and restaurant, having no experience, um, so we didn't realize. I would say the magnitude of the things that go on, and particularly in our training, um, corporate had no idea that the store was going to do the volume that they did. So we, so corporate doesn't have a training program for a high volume store, so we, we've had to adapt to certain things uh, inside the store. The, uh, the parameters they give us in a small business setting, and so we've had to make some. A lot of changes, and so, um, so wait, they had to readjust the training to accommodate the volume. Yeah, and we, sure we, had, we had to readjust the yeah. training, you know. Yeah. So that, that was uh, that's been a really uh, 
a strange scenario, but one advantage I have is I would say two thirds of my staff have previous restaurant experience, so they help us get to that real challenging period of time in our openings. And so, um, but I would say the other challenge is, is just uh, uh, employees themselves, you know, in, in a high stress environment, you know, one three hours is non stop, and the last time to have a drink or uh, a drink, whatever, and we're just feeding customers during this period of time. And so, there's a lot of stress on the line, and everybody's just running crazy. But, you know, so we're trying to market a, a, a service as well right. as our food. So. Right. Wow, that's a good problem to have. So. <laughs> uh, any general advice you have for somebody looking to open a franchise or a business in general in this time, uh, you know, trying economic times, so to speak? <laughs> well, uh, you know, the, the biggest thing is commitment. You know, plan, plan to be committed. And uh, that's, that's kind of probably one of the secrets that I would, I would, I would say to success. You have to be 100% committed to this thing. It's, you've got to live and breathe this thing for six months to two years, you know, and particularly when you're Particularly in our situation, where we're starting a store after being open for about six months, it's a real challenge. But you know, basically, you don't have a life, you know, outside these four walls, and uh, you go home and you're absolutely just tired. You know, and I, and I would say the other thing is we have a good partnership group, and everybody inside of our group has their strengths, and so um, we all feed off each other. And so, so I, it's, it's real key in our success too. Yeah. I, somebody told me one time, you know, when you start a business, you take care of the business, and when you start out. Hopefully it'll take care of you later. Yeah. <laughs> so, Two or three years down the road, you can step back a little bit, but uh, for the most part, you're, you're yeah. definitely going to be married to this thing. Really married to it. Well, I can tell you're committed because you stop by frequently in here and you're busy and yep. you, know, you always manage to be positive about things. So, um, anyway, I want to thank you for spending some time today. If you want to add anything else or the domain, what's the Taco Del Mar domain uh, website if you were interested in finding out more? Um, well, we have uh, tacodelmar.com is our corporate uh, email or website. Right, right. And then we have a, another program called teltacodelmar.com. And that okay. program is what allows our customers to experience the Taco Del Mar um, experience when they come in. They can do a 10 point survey on that and get a dollar off on a coupon um, for that survey time. So it takes about 10 minutes. And so and then that feedback comes back to us as franchisees and gives us a valuable source of input for our marketing issues and how well we're doing to serve our customers. Okay, so. All right, and you can also uh, we'll post some more information on the website about Taco Del Mar and about Larry Elmore and his wife Claudia. And we really appreciate today's time. We did this all in one take. It's incredible. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Let's you. go, man. Let's go. <laughs> Well, that was a lot of uh, fun talking to Larry over at Taco Del Mar. They're actually doing so well. They're opening a second store in Kona Commons this year, and they have a third store planned already for Hilo. Fantastic. Yeah, it's absolutely. so nice to hear about business people around here doing so well and being so successful. It was an incredible way to probably uh, do our first show in the trenches. What the, What's that? Chris, do you see something? Yeah. What is that? Holy cow! Oh, my God. It's Mr. Incredible! Mr. Incredible, what, what are, are you doing, doing here? here? Well, this is the most incredible show about small business, of course. Oh, I'm so glad you came to see us today. Halloween, what a great time to come visit us. What an incredible way for the first in the trenches. Make sure you visit our YouTube channel, uh, Let's Go Banner, in the in the trenches, and come to letsgobanners.com. You can always call toll-free 866-267-5814. Come back and see us again for more incredible advice on how to supercharge your small business. Happy Halloween. <laughs> can I get your autograph? <laughs>